question is a network has a data transmission bandwidth of 20 into 10 raised to power 6 bits per second. All right. It uses CSMA CD in the MAC layer. The maximum signal propagation time from one node to another node is 40 microseconds. The minimum size of a frame in the network is these many bytes. Now, you must know that in CSMA CD, that means for collision detection, you must have the round trip time equal to the transmission delay of a frame. That means as long as or the time that a frame takes to be transmitted to reach the receiver and then propagate the acknowledgement back to the sender for the entire duration of the round trip time, the sender must still be transmitting or the, the, the transmission delay should be equal to the round trip time. I would write it here in CSMACD to detect collision. Collisions would be detected if the sender is still listening to the channel as long as it is transmitting and as long as there is no collision in the entire round trip dura duration. To detect collisions, we want that transmission time be equal to the round trip time that I'm writing as RTT. Now the minimum size of the frame that we need to find out would be given by a product of the bandwidth and the round trip time. So minimum frame size that is required to uh, continuously detect collisions is the round trip time multiplied that by the bandwidth the amount of data that can be put into a channel at a time. Now bandwidth is given to you as 20 into 10 raised to power 6 bits per second and round trip time is equal to twice the propagation delay. So I can write it as twice the propagation delay into the bandwidth which I am writing as B. Here it is given that the maximum signal propagation time is 40 microseconds. So 2 into 40 into 10 raised to power minus 6 to convert it into seconds because the bandwidth is given to you in seconds multiplied by the bandwidth which is equal to 20 into 10 raised to power 6. So 10 raised to power 6 and 10 raised to power minus 6 cancel out. You are left with 2 into 40 into 20 which gives you 1600 bits and why bits because the bandwidth was in bits so since you are asked the answer in bytes therefore 1600 divided by 8 would give you the answer in bytes which is equal to 200 bytes so this was a very easy question if you remember what is csma cd and what relation holds between transmission time and the round trip time. Coming to the second question, we have to identify the correct sequence in which the following packets are transmitted on the network by a host when a browser requests a web page from a remote server assuming that the host has just been restarted. Okay, so we are given four options in which each is uh, each option has three values. First is HTTP GET request, DNS query and TCP SYN. So you have to, in short, you have to tell if a host restarts and so what would be the order in which these three requests would be sent or these three operations would be performed. So you have to remember that whenever we send a request, we basically specify a URL of a website, if we say google.com or facebook.com, we first we specify the URL and this is the domain name. So a DNS, DNS request is sent to the DNS server to get the IP address corresponding to this URL or corresponding to this domain name. Then we connect 
connect or we establish a connection to the IP using TCP. We establish a connection to that IP address or the host that is present at, that has that IP address using TCP and TCP handshakes. After the TCP connection has been established, at the end we start communicating using HTTP. So basically we specify a URL and URL basically is a mapping of the IP address to a name that is easier to remember and used by the general public. So this URL is sent or the domain name is sent to the domain name server, domain name system, which gives us the IP address. This IP address is used to establish connection by the TCP using TCP handshakes and then we after the connection has been established we communicate using HTTP so the correct option in this case is first um, we have a DNS query yes then a TCP SYN yes and then the HTTP GET request so C is the correct topic in this question, you are given two hosts X and Y which are connected by a direct link of rate 10 raised to power 6 bits per second. So you can underline the main points as you read. The distance between the two hosts is 10,000 kilometers and the propagation speed along the link is 2 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. Host X sends a file of 50,000 bytes as one large message to host Y continuously. Let the transmission and propagation delays be P millisecond and Q millisecond. The values of P and Q are. Alright, so this question asks you about two values P and Q which are the transmission time or the transmission delay and the propagation delay. Now in such a question, if you remember the formula, it is very easy to solve. So transmission time is given by the formula transmission time or P as it is stated in this question. P is equal to the formula, the data size, that means the size of the data that has to be transmitted divided by the bandwidth or bandwidth we can also understand as the amount of data that can be transmitted by the channel. This is the ta ta amount of data that has to be transmitted and this is the data that can be transmitted by a channel in a particular duration. So data size that has to be transmitted is given to you as 50,000 bytes. Now always remember since the bandwidth which is 10 raised to power 6 bits per second is given in bits and not bytes so you have to convert this data also in bits so to convert bytes into bits multiply by 8 because 1 byte is equal to 8 bits 50,000 divided by bandwidth which is 10 raised to power 6 now this value would approximately come out to be 400 bits per second all right now this is the amount of transmission delay or transmission time that would take that would be seen between these two hosts now the second thing that we have to calculate is propagation delay again for propagation delay you can remember a simple formula which is equal to distance upon velocity or speed so here the distance that has to be traveled between the two hosts is 10,000 km and the velocity or the speed between the link that connects both these hosts is 2 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. Again you have to be careful that the distance is in kilometers so you have to convert it into meters or you convert the value of meter per second into the corresponding value in which the distance is given all right so that the answer comes the same the correct unit is used so this i'm converting it into meters by multiplying it by 10 raised to power 3 divided by the velocity 2 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second this would come out to be 50 milliseconds Alright, so the value of P is 400 and the value of Q is 50 
millisecond and 400 millisecond so the answer is 450 the option is d so that is all for today's lecture this was an easy question using straight direct formulas so you have to be very thorough of uh, about such formulas especially in gate and ugc net where uh, you have uh, a little less time as compared to the total questions that are to be solved so thank you for watching the video if you understood the question please tell us in the comments below how did you find the video and like and share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification of our upcoming videos thank you for watching good luck stay tuned